right, hey everybody, Road Rash, Rich Trainium here. This video is pretty much for the two to pie guys, my zapper friends, whoever you are. So, yeah, man, there's no question about it, the zapper's real. I know for 100% fact, doesn't have, no question about it. I don't need any other crap to prove it to me. I know it's real. You tell me the Echo Rock is also pretty much the same kind of device um okay that's all cool man and i know for a fact my timelines which i'm not in the same world reality universe whatever the hell you want to call it it's not the same i know that i don't have to prove that either um any you know and i'm not trying this video is not for anybody but the two to pie and the zapper boys because you guys know exactly what i'm talking about a lot of the public you know, they've still got their own minds to make up. They've got, you know, their own opinions, whatever. I'm not trying to not trying to change anybody's mind about what they believe or anything like that. But, uh, okay, man, I believe you. And all the shit that you sent me, all the memos and the, the mathematics and, I mean, the physics and all that stuff. Groovy, man, dig it. I'm not so sure about that damn tape phone conversation of me in the year 2025 honestly don't buy all that crap and I don't know why you would do something like that because um, you don't have to prove anything to me <clears throat> I don't understand <clears throat> since you're so you know seeming to want me in two to pie to join you your organization um, all that I'm, I'm hip you know I'm kind of leery about the coerced and not forced watermarks on all of your literature every single piece of literature that you've sent me so far has in watermarks on both sides coerced not forced <laughs> this doesn't inspire a lot of confidence bro <sighs> um yeah it's the same difference man anywho i'm hip i, I really would like to come see what it's all about um why don't you direct direct message me an exact time and date and uh, I'll go through the zapper again I, unfortunately my dog dragged me through it a couple times over the years um, after I was you know I have literally avoided walking through that thing I've walked around it for the last as long as it's been there I have literally walked around it a couple times I wasn't really paying attention and was talking with somebody and my dog dragged me through it unwittingly so, I was warned not to do it because if I did, I would have my own story to tell or something to that effect. I've told you all the story before, the story of the Zapper, how it was named the Zapper. If you don't know it, go back and look at the video. It says the Zapper or Portal on Woodby Island. And I will explain to you why it's called a Zapper and what was said to me. And it's kind of a long story, so I don't want to get into it again. Just go check out the video and you'll know why it's called a Zapper and why I'm so, I so strongly know that it's real. I don't even believe it. I just know it. <laughs> um, I don't know how to access it. I don't know how to make it work for me. Um, I know these things for a fact. I want to know how to make the knowledge I have work for me instead of against me. How I can be of help to others that know things. Yeah. I don't want to be one of those people that ends up suicided or disappears, you know, unwillingly. But I am very curious. I hate being lied to. I am a truth seeker and always will be. I believe in the light. I believe strongly in the darkness, but I, I am not. Uh, that's not the path I choose to walk. I choose the light. Um, I've always known that if, if there's evil, then there's good. You know, there's just, yeah, there's whatever. Toward, I know what side I want to be on, let's put it that way. Uh, when it comes down to it, there's dark and there's light. Well, I want to be on the light side, the right side, the good side. Um, I've always wanted to be just a peaceful man. Love, no fight, no violence, no ego shit, none of that. Just let it all go. But I've been unable to. I, from... I've had no father, so I grew up on my own, pretty much. Um, so in a juvie when I was 13. 
uh, I had no one to teach me shit how to fight, how to do anything. I had to learn it all on my own. And it was all the school of hard knocks. I'm not whining and I'm not bitching about nothing. But what I learned, I learned hard. And, uh... conspiracy theorists, I, I'm conspiracy backs, people, and I don't care whether you believe me or not, um, it's easily researchable and easily proven, um, the naysayers and the, um, people that are, are, have been denying this and lying to us all these, all these years have spent un, untold amounts of money and spent years and how many people have been died, been killed to keep all this shit secret and hidden from us, um, military industrial complex got out of control and it's still running the whole it's running the planet not just America the planet um, Eisenhower tried to warn us all you know don't let it get out of hand and it did and it is and it's just it's so now all that technology that we paid for to have developed has been put into private hands where the government has no say over it anymore if it ever did and um it's going to take an act of God or more to get that shit released to us, to the public. If Twitter can do any good, Twitter will truly help this. It would be a utopian world, man. It would change for the better instantly. Um, no more fossil fuels. I mean, just think teleportation instantly. Go wherever you want to go. Think how that would change everything. The anti-gravity, the free energy, which is absolutely a true thing. Zero point energy, all that. It's it is so real. Uh, the Looking Glass. If you ever heard about that, the CIA released documents. Um, they say it's all coming together. They can't, you know, keep it hidden for much longer. I I want that to happen. I, I they said it was going to happen soon. Well, it can't happen soon enough for me. Because um, once it does, if if he, what he's saying is true, the whistleblower um, about Looking Glass, if what he says is true, then it. We should all be um, experiencing good things very soon. Um, I don't, I don't see it happening, man. I see shit getting worse and worse, and, and so insanely just off the charts, fucking weird. Yeah, man. I, I, it, I, I don't. Yeah, I didn't sign up for this shit, and um, I do believe the technology that I'm talking about is what put me here. The zapper crapper. Um, I don't know, the Mandela effect, all that crap. I can't decide whether going through the zapper is the Mandela effect or if the Mandela effect is happening before I went through the zapper. I, I just don't know. But I do know they are both absolutely 100% real. The zapper and the Mandela effect, um, 100% real. And I don't give a shit what anybody says, the people that are trying to debunk it or say it's not real or anything else like that. I don't care what they say. They can't, they can't, you know, change what I know to be true. 
So, you know, comments all you want about how it's all bullshit. I don't care. I know what, what I know, and that's all I need, you know. I don't need any, um, <laughs> I don't need any confirmation from anybody. I know what I know. Um, so whatever, you know. Um, what I do want to know is how to make this work for me instead of the ne negative effects that I'm getting from all this crap. I want to know how to turn it around and make it work for me and how to, you know, bring it to the, bring it so it can do good, bring it out into the light for the people that deserve it, you know, the good people that have worked their asses off all their lives and really have nothing to show for it, you know, they're going to die working their asses off and it's just such a wasted existence in my opinion. And since I was a little kid, I've always believed that there is more to life than just working. I was a little kid and I knew that working all your life was not the way to go. I just knew it was wrong. I'm not saying hard work is bad or I mean, anything like that. I too believe in hard work and all that stuff. But not just so you can eke out, scratch out a fucking meager existence on this planet, you know? Everybody should have a place and a thing to do, you know? Something they like to do, something they're good at to contribute. But they should not be forced to work. And, and, and bleed and starve in some cases and still work and not make enough money to even survive on that stuff. That's not right. The rich, the gap between the rich and the poor is absolutely just disgusting. And it's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. Yeah, so anyway, Zapper Boys, Two to Pie Guys, direct message me on, um, shit. TikTok, YouTube, email, whatever. You got, you got every, all my information, so it's, you know, the ball is in your court. It has been for a while. So, yeah, let's put the charades and let's get this over with, man. Let's do something about this. I ain't getting any younger, you know? Dig it. So anyways, until next time.